Hey everyone, I'm about to think up Valkyrie from Atomic Mass Games Crisis Protocol. And we just primed it with Chaos Black from Citadel. And I'm going to use Night Lord's Blue over most of her armor and her cape. Just basically, I mean, you could paint over the whole model in that because you can just paint over it. And that's all the armor painting. And then I'm going to do the rocks. I forgot to film that part, but that's all mechanic standard gray. Now we're going to do the flesh with some actual flesh from the whale. And it looks like I put up part of the hand, so I went back and fixed it. Now I'm going to use burnt iron from Vallejo. I like this metal color color, so you go on, you don't have to water them down a lot. So they have good coverage too. Really good for bases if you're doing metal like I'm doing here. Or you want clean swords too. I got a copper one like it, that's pretty good too. I think I did paint up the studs too. You can go back and do that after if you don't want to nick the belt, but Did I paint up the studs? Focus. Yes, I did. So now Silver Glay is going to go on the wrist guards she has, or wristbands, whatever the hell you want to call them. <laughs> Wrappings around her arm. I use Silver Glay a lot for white too. Easier to use as just pure white. And then you can just go back over it with other colors like ivory. And now I go from scale 75, I'm going to do her hair. It's a flat paint too, so if you want a brighter one, you could always use Avalanche Sunset. I think it's from Citadel. Then her hilt of her sword is bronze. And I don't know how to stay out of camera, so now you get to look at my nose. Move out of the camp. There you go. Nope. Still learning. All the little tips of the blades too were gold. And then chocolate brown is going to be for the wraps. The straps around there. There's one around the back too. You got to be careful of the cape. And she has some over her shoulder too. That's just about done for the base. And now I'm going to go back and fill in the eye with black, so then it's an easier outline when you fill them in with white. Just water down your paint and just dab it on with a smaller brush. Now it's on to the shading, so the flesh will be reckless flesh shade. 
Just don't let it pull up too much in the face because then it's going to look cloudy. Or like the underarms. Just go back and clean it up a bit. And I'm going to put it in the hair too because I don't want to use non oil because then it looks too dark in the recesses. And that's what the flesh is. Then instead of non oil on white, I've been using this soap white gray. I'm liking it a lot too. It's instead of having pretty black on non oil on white. Looks more clean, I find. And now Seraphim Sepia is going to go on the gold on the blades. And the tips of the daggers on her too. And I put a little bit in the hair to blend it in with the Requiem too. And I put some on the base too to make it look eroded or rusted. So I gotta go back and yeah, I clean up the pooling on the rock too. If my camera focuses. There you go. Requin flesh shade is gonna go back over the rusted parts too. You could have done that when you did the fresh shade on the skin, but I went back and blended it up with the sepia. Then I'm going to take Agrath Earthshade Gloss. I don't think they make it anymore, but you can find it online. And if anyone has extra bottles, you can always use it. Or you can just use normal Agrath Earthshade if you don't. But I'm going to use the gloss and blend it in with the rusted washes I put on there. There's other rust paints you can get. Some of them are pretty expensive, and they get the similar effect that I'm doing here. I think it's got like dirty down rust. It works pretty good, but it's pretty expensive. And that's the base. Now I'm going to do non oil and everything else that I haven't washed yet. Basically, all the blue parts. Sword, too. Spent this up a little too fast. Over the rocks. Then I'm going to go over the metal too, was it too? And blend it in with the rust too. I was trying to make the under part of the cape darker too, because that's where the light doesn't hit. And that's all the washes. So it could be standard ready now. Or we can do the highlights, what I'm going to get into next. For the blue highlights, I did Night Lords Blue and cleaned it up, Cantor Blue, then Canabrook Blue, alright, from scale 75. Just clean up all the parts that it's a little cloudy from the wash. Going over all the lace parts. I don't do too much under the cape too, because obviously that's where the light hits, but clean it up a little bit. And Cantor Blue for the edges of some of the highlights that we did. Stick there, so I just cleaned it. Can of Tarak blue? Almost as bad as games works out. Not in the face. This is the very tips of where light would hit, I would use this. Now I'm gonna go back and clean up the stone with Mechanic's Gray, then highlight with Dawnstone. And dark sea gray. So 
Not so much just on the edges of the rock. Putting little marks to look like chips. Darksea gray is going to go on the very edges. And then a little indents in the rocks to the stone. Like some imperfections. Now for the skin, I'll go back with natural flesh, beige red, and piece of the flesh. So just clean up the parts that have too much shade on it. Over the raised parts, leaving the recesses for the flesh shade. I'm going to mix the beige red and the natural flesh. 50 50 water down a bit because I think it was too bright just going to the beige red. So I mix the two together. I'm just going over the raised parts. Now I'll go with base red on the edges. Making a little bit of white here. Tips of the nose and then the chin and the lips. And Kisa Flesh will be the final highlight. Now I'm gonna do the metal, so I'll go with red belcher and oil, oily steel and silver. Red belcher and oily steel are pretty close in color, but it gives it a little more shine on the edges when you highlight it up. Under the cape to highlight the sewer crate or metal on the base. Now I'll go back over some of the edges with oil, oily steel. Three edges of the blade. Silver will just be at the very edges of stuff like you should wear it like your hit. Don't make the lines too big because then it looks kind of weird sometimes. It looked a little bright, so I just rubbed it into it. Kind of looked like it smudged a bit. Looked okay. I don't know if there's a technical way of how you're doing it, but now I'm going to go over the wraps with silver gray and ivory. Oh, and I put a little bit in the eyes too. Clean it up. And the 
ivory with this girl on the edges. I'm going to put black in the eyes now. And that's what she looks like now for tiny pupils. And then Ariko, beige, and of course Valkyrie yellow on Valkyrie for her hair. Just be careful doing the eyebrows, water down your paint a bit, kind of like how you do the eyes. What am I doing? I guess I'm not going to show the paint. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Beige for the highlights in the hair. And then finally Velcro yellow for the very edges. Where you want to have more definition on where light would hit. Now for the gold. Bronze, old gold, and move the cam. Nope, but there you go. Elven gold. I don't know if I like the camera this far. I don't see much of the model. Let me know in the comments if you like it, how the other video was. I'm still learning doing some of these painting videos. There's a lot better other ones, but I'm just testing it out for when we get new models when our Kickstarters come. I think the light's a little too bright too. It makes stuff out of focus. It's okay for me painting to see, but when showing you guys on the painting videos, it's not very close. So I'm just going up on the edges now. There's some gold highlights. Let's see the bottom of the daggers. The, I don't know what the hell that's called. The tip of the dagger holder thing. And then for the wraps, chocolate brown and saddle brown and the handles on the sword. Clean up some of the metal that is neck when you're doing the studs. straps on the back of her leg too. Don't gotta go too crazy with the highlights because it's under the cape. And then I'm just not gonna show that one. <laughs> it was saddle brown from Vallejo. After doing a couple of these, I have a much bigger respect now for people that do these painting videos. They're a whole different ball game of trying to film them, opposed to doing the board game spray foods we do. And yeah, there's my. Yeah, yeah, get out of the camera. This is what happens when I don't have Raven helping me film. the very edges of some of the straps too. And then I'm going to coat it with clear from Camellio Color. And she's done. Some pictures of 
this looks like. I like painting these Crisis Protocol ones up. It's good practice for when I get the chibi ones and the Marvel Zombie ones too. Got a couple more to paint up. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll get some more of these painting ones up soon.